Being Wednesday is always workout and nutrition. Today we want to focus mainly on nutrition and uh, a lot of you have some questions, some myths and uh in Caribbean time to tafunga. Sasa mwanza kusema sasa ikifika January. Nitakuwa sasa. I'm going to get it right. Ama most guys are the, it's close to the end of the month. Yeah, so you are thinking from October. You know that quote from Mkwamu Kiwana online, it is three months to the end of the year. You can change your life by consistency. <laughs> Well, we have Nutrition by Indenya here to help us with all of the questions. Karibu sana. Thank you so much, Willis. Um, what is some of the, because I know, you know may, but maybe first before that, tell us a little bit about yourself, before you go deep into the ma, maswali. So, um, my name is Ndenya, Nutrition by Ndenya on Instagram. I am a certified nutritionist with KNDI. Mm -hmm. I am a mom to a six months old baby. Mm -hmm. And I love, thank you, and I, I love nutrition. Mm -hmm. I, I just love everything to do with food, health, and specifically with women. Right. I know it's, it's being a bit biased, right. but I work with men right. as right. well. Yes. So one of the biggest, uh, of course, uh, there are many misconceptions around it and many myths around nutrition, but uh, most of the people uh, always say that or think that for you to, let's talk about losing weight because I guess that's the most uh, popular. Uh, for you to lose weight, you have to omit certain things from your diet. Well, of course, but basically we all agree junk food will not fuck with all. But now, they, now when it comes to carbs and protein and all this, there are all these terms we hear. Mm -hmm. uh, no carb diet, uh, carb cycling, mm -hmm. um, and all of that. So maybe you can start, start by that. W is it advisable to say go no carbs? So, n number one, you need to understand that nutrition is just not weight loss. It's just the bigger, uh, I think the one thing that most people think mm -hmm. when you hear nutrition, you think weight loss. Mm -hmm. But um, when you're doing any weight loss, you cannot be on no carb. Mm -hmm. The only thing that I would say is no carb is water, mm -hmm. because uh, including vegetables, Mm -hmm. including fruits they have carbohydrates right. so like vegetables will have what we call fibrous uh, uh, carbohydrates mm -hmm. um, when you're talking about fruits they have a bit of carbohydrate so what basically people should call it is a low carb mm -hmm. but most people um, rush to the no carb yet 45 percent of your daily kilocalories is supposed to be coming from carbohydrates mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it's 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 a weird thing that um, but that is what we call fad diets. Mm -hmm. Okay, we list. Yes, fad so, diets. So fad, yes. Meaning, like they fantasy. come and go. Okay. So every year you'll like you. You are saying uh, January. Everyone is. <laughs> so every year there's there's a new diet. Right. There's uh, thirteen a, day metabolic. Thirteen day metabolic. There's there's <laughs> juicing. juicing yeah. There's um. I, I think I've had there's, there's there's a hundred and one <laughs> diets. Yeah. But there's one consistent thing. Mm -hmm eating right, mm. creating a, a lifelong um, lifestyle change. Mm. Because if you, if you go on something <coughs> short term, mm -hmm. then you are forgetting that you did not gain the weight overnight yes. or in the 13 days. Mm -hmm. So how are you able to shed your 40, 50 kgs mm -hmm. in 13 days? Yeah. Yes. So, but then when it comes to like, for example, to use that 13 days, people always argue that you need your 13 days. Kale to kaka head starts. Alafu no sasa ningie kwa... Uh, eating right is it because there are people who want to do uh, radical and they may not have the money for the surgery, mm -hmm. <laughs> but they want you know not a radical change to how do the guys say it at the gym to shock the body to shock the body. Yes. So I I don't think there is need to shock your body. Okay. The step is to start. Um, once you start from day one, what are you doing? Whatever you do on day one is the same thing you're supposed to be doing day 100. Mm -hmm. Consistency is one of the things. I keep joking that wanting weight loss and actualizing it is two different things. Mm -hmm. You cannot wake up and just want the nya to poof you yes. and uh, no, you have to, yeah, you, you have to wake up, mm -hmm. work for it mm -hmm. because the same way we work towards weight loss is the same way I have clients working towards gaining weight mm -hmm. and for them is a step it's actually slower than weight loss mm -hmm. so you have to consistently just wake up and do the same thing over and over there's no difference in 
in, in just getting um, right nutrition and consistently doing it. So you have to tell yourself, I'm doing this for th the long time. Mm. If you just want something to shock your body, it will shock, shock your metabolism. So you are left with a struggling metabolism at the end of it. So you have to now start again working on your metabolism before you even mm. now start the mm. weight loss. Mm. So what the idea that you wanted when you were taking that green tea or that detox, sorry, not green tea, when you are taking the detox tea will have a bigger impact mm. than if you just started day one eating right. If you are eating three chapatis, you move to two, mm. then you move to one. <laughs> so it's, it's a process. It's a process. <laughs> Mimi, I think Kapu Kwa Chapatis are further ahead than three. <laughs> but this hour. Anyway, if you have any questions for Venya, by the way, you can uh, use the hashtag Daybreak and also SMS 22422. And also, we are asking uh, the question uh, what are some of the myths that you've had about nutrition and what questions do you have? So simply use the hashtag uh, Daybreak or SMS us on 22422. Uh, any question that you have surrounding nutrition, we're going to uh, try and answer them here. So, let's say, the key is to start. So let's say when a client approaches you, like what is the, what is the system? How do they, how do they start? So when I, when I get a weight loss client or a weight gain client, you have to first get your anthropometric measurement. So it's well, just your height, uh -huh. your weight, ah, okay. your age. Yes. Um, then we are talking about your waistline, mm. your waist circumference, your hip, mm -hmm. your chest. So what we are trying to do is like for waist and hip, we do what we call waist hip ratio. So if your waist heat pressure is above, say, 0 0.8, then we need to get it lower than that. Mm -hmm. uh, I get people with over one, but we gradually just go down. So it's not just about the scale. Mm -hmm. Because I have met clients who will, in a span of two months, lose two kgs, but then lose over six inches. So when you look at them, they don't look like their current kgs. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's not just focusing on the scale. It's focusing on... Um, you're reducing your belly fat because if you're when you're talking about belly fat then we kind of relate it to uh, what we call and uh, that related non-communicable diseases so when you're talking about hypertension you live and hear your doctor telling you um, work on your weight mm -hmm. work on so mostly they're talking about the weight around your mm -hmm. your tummy so when a client comes we do they can do, now because of COVID, they can do it from where they are, share the details with me. Then I'll use that to never calculate. I, I don't use BMI. Okay. So I want to get your ideal weight mm -hmm. so that we work towards the ideal weight. Mm -hmm. And then um, we, we now have a call. It, it can be a call, it can be a meeting. Um, and then we discuss. Number one, you need to realize that weight loss is not just on the plate. Okay. It's all from the brain, it's mm -hmm. from your mind. Because at times you get, someone is struggling with weight not because they're eating a lot, but because of the fear of eating. Mm -hmm. So when you're not eating, then what are you doing? You could end up slowing down your metabolism just for fear of maybe you were once big, you lost weight and now you're scared of going back there. So it's, it's from the <coughs> mind, it's from um, dealing with your surrounding, what kind of job do you do? Are you traveling out of country a lot so that we figure out we are not just giving you a plan for now. Mm. We're giving you a plan when you're away from home, um, teaching you how to balance your food. It's, it's, it's very simple. Yeah. Yes. You mentioned something that I've also <coughs> normally had, uh, also is thrown around a lot, including in the word BMI, mm -hmm. that M for metabolism. So what is metabolism? People say that, okay, if you go... Uh, Okay, let me just say it. If you poop two times a day, ah, metabolism goes out. Or if you frequent urination, metabolism goes out. So what is the what is metabolism? To help us understand. So metabolism for me, in simple terms, I'd uh, explain it as how your body burns and uses the energy you're okay. putting in. Mm -hmm. So one of the I know why people use when you when you eat and you're using the bathroom often. This could be because you're not holding everything so it means your system is a bit clearer ah, okay. for, for um, uh, urination I've not actually related it to metabolism okay. but I know mm -hmm. some people will come and tell me hey, and then yeah my metabolism is slow how do you know mm -hmm. so uh, just having a frequent boil movement doesn't necessarily mean your metabolism mm -hmm. is fast there are other things to check even the way your skin looks could mm -hmm. be an indication of 
what how your metabolic state is mm -hmm. but it's not generally just one not thing just one yeah thing. it's not just one okay thing. so so <coughs> they've come through we've done the measurements um one of the biggest challenges that people have is whenever you go and see trainers and all these people they put you on <laughs> diets that some have called them caveman some have called them uh, daniel like all these sort of diets mm -hmm. that uh, uh first of all what i call capo pistachio that's like a blend of pistachio almond milk <laughs> and all of that mm -hmm. um that is one some of the things look unattainable mm -hmm. that's one two um Kunai, anyway, let's start with that. So how, how does it work like for, for you? Like when in terms of what do you believe in terms of a, a diet? What do you work with? So number one, I don't believe in a diet. Oh, okay. I believe in changing what you currently have. Ah. So the pistachio you're talking about, <laughs> the almond milk you're talking about, right. is very common to some people here yes. in Kenya. But I drink but that I all drink. the time. <laughs> but the, the good thing is that I work with clients even away from home. Okay. So you give me a list of foods mm. you can comfortable, comfortably you use. Actually, you're supposed to be making a plan out of your daily food. Mm. If it's the githeri from home, if it's kamande, if it's uh, beans, that is what you're supposed to be using. If you're able to buy turkey every week, that's okay. If you if you actually always consume salmon, do not then conform to eating other foods. Mm. I want you to be able to um, eat from the same thing that your family is eating. Mm. So I, I don't believe there's any specific food for weight loss. Okay. Because every food comes with its nutrient, every food comes with its calories. So for you it's just to balance what am I eating, how, how many macronutrients am I putting on that plate and micronutrients. So, so it's, what, are, what, uh, what are Yes, what are, what are they? So we have two, uh, when we talk about nutrients, there's macro and there's the mi micro. Mm -hmm. So we call macro the big ones, but I tend to call micro the big ones and okay. I'll explain why. Mm -hmm. So the macronutrients is carbohydrates. So for carbohydrates, macro. Macro. macro okay. So carbohydrates is like ugali. I'm just using the regular mm -hmm. ones: ugali, rice, uh, rice, chapati. Then when we move to um, protein, it's like your meat, it's like your fish, it's like your beans. But beans is very controversial mm. because it has a bit of carbohydrates. Okay, but we will call it protein for today. Mm -hmm. Then we have fat. So fat, we are talking about your avocado. We are talking about your the one you're using for cooking then now we move to the micronutrients so that where is where we have our vitamins and minerals of course from fruits and vegetables okay. now the reason why i call my micro my bigger ones is because that is what you're supposed to maximize on the plate ah, okay. Okay? okay in as much as we call the macro the of course from the word macro mm -hmm. but the micro is what you maximize on the plate mm -hmm. so you're supposed to get a balance of all that so that's why I do not understand when the diets we were talking about when we were starting, when someone tells you to eat meat and vegetables alone, for example, or just eat veggies alone, then when are you, where are you getting your uh, other things from? How are you balancing those macros from? Because we are supposed to be getting foods from all of them. Uh. So that you're not just losing weight and looking very sickly and mm -hmm. old. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to lose weight and look very young. I have proof, you've seen my clients on yes. my page. Mm -hmm. you, you're not supposed to lose weight then look mm -hmm. like you're sick. <laughs> <laughs> you lose weight and look healthy while at yes, it. Yes. And the <coughs> goal is not actually weight loss. Mm -hmm. The goal is a lifestyle. A lifestyle. Right. Yes. Yeah. So if, if um, so would you then say that for those who, they, they do that, you know, they do the, the hard, the hard uh, uh, jump start, let's call it that, mm -hmm. for a month or two, where they're saying, you know, I'm not going to do carbs, and then is it then easier for you to gain it back when you okay answer sasa kukula the carbs? Now I have seen people go into diets, and then what happens when you come back to not try it? Then you gain the weight together with the sisters, the brothers. <laughs> Yes. Th that is because you eliminated. Mm -hmm. Willis, I'll give you a shortcut. If mm -hmm. you want to lose weight, mm -hmm. eliminate the macros. Mm -hmm. But it's not sustainable mm -hmm. because we are looking at sustainability. Mm -hmm. I like when I see on Instagram or social media pages people losing weight over a period of time. Mm -hmm. One year, two years, six months. 
but I don't like it when it was uh, 14 days mm -hmm. and the way the same pa person I saw unless you went for a surgery mm -hmm. even after the surgery you will need to eat right mm. so that is one thing people need to understand mm -hmm. you're gaining back because your body thinks this is my way of explaining it your body thinks like uh, we will not we will go into a starvation period again so let's hold everything we are getting now so that, so in, that case. in case we have something mm. left and i think that's why you said it is more uh in the mind yes. as well because yes. uh, then it, it, it works the other way mm. way around so then if uh so th so they start out the 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 process so you say the macro the vitamins so that's fruits and vegetables mm -hmm. so how is that i know you've had this a lot but how is a generally a, a plate supposed to look like the one we maximize on your mac micros, micros. Yes. okay so let's pick a meal <coughs> that is common to most people yes. ugali skumawiki and nyama mm -hmm. So when I was growing up, it was a lot of ugali, <laughs> <laughs> skuma kidogo. kidogo. Yeah, and, and yes. so, but what I know about nutrition is that we mm -hmm. have a plate that we call a diabetic plate. Okay. So half of the plate, half is supposed to be vegetables, mm -hmm. then a quarter is supposed to be carbohydrate, and then the other quarter is supposed to be protein. Half vegetables. Half vegetables. Yes. Then <laughs> do not use a, big, a plate bigger than the circumference of your hand so that you're not oh, picking ah, the bigger. Ah, <laughs> yeah. I am good. So, Ikoevi. Yes. Round. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what about the, the, I've heard about the fist and the ugali. So. But how does that work? <laughs> they, they say that the stom your stomach is about the size of your, of your fist. Eh? Okay. And I'm sure you've heard even in hospitals when they're telling you the baby does not need a lot of food to work in Atoshanana, the fist. Mm. So if you're eating for your fist, there's what we call the hand portion guide. Okay. So if your fist ugali, so that is for carbohydrates, mm -hmm. then when you're talking about something like protein, Unfortunately, most people, because of the diets that have been going around, then they have a lot of idea that you can overeat protein. Mm. So we do half a, uh, a palm size, not the entire palm, mm -hmm. same thickness as the palm. Ah, say again. Palm size. So palm size of the portion. Yes, of the portion, without right. the fingers. Let's say if it's a steak. Yeah, if it's steak. Okay. Okay, it's, it's about palm size, uh -huh. same thickness as your hand. Okay. So, so you see, chopiang, ikwe yeah, ikwe and you see your hand and mine are not the same. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> then, then when you're doing veggies, again, you'll see they're the bigger ones. So we do a lot of vegetables. Both hands? Yes. Wow. Even a lot. You can do, you see when you're talking about calories, a, about a cup of vegetables is 25 calories. Mm -hmm. So you cannot, there's, there's no way you can overeat vegetables. Mm -hmm. And I'll give you a trick. Mm -hmm. On that plate that you are talking about, don't start with your ugali. Mm -hmm. Start with your vegetables, move to the protein, so that if you're leaving anything out, is carbohydrate. Because you've already gotten some carbohydrate on the, the, on the veggies. Mm -hmm. And of course you'll have to add a bit of your ugali. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's in the mind. Remember I told you, it's in the mind. And by the time you eat vegetables, because they are uh, fiber, they will fill you up. Mm. So by the time you get to the ugali, you're full. Unless you now want to force yourself, mm -hmm. then you're already getting enough. Yeah. Right, yes. We'll talk about the, <coughs> the type of vegetables, whether uh, cabbage, kumoiki, kale, etc. Uh, and all that. But we have some uh, SMS and some feedback. Uh -huh. Sheila says, is working out efficient without following right diet or change of diet? My belly fat is the same, all my years increasing. Okay, that's uh, Sheila. Uh, Elena, good morning. Is it true that when you drink lemon, ginger, and garlic and lemonade, you lose weight? So I guess what we'll do, Ibra, because I don't know if you can remember all the questions. Let's do one at a time, right? So let's do that one. Uh, so let's take those first two. Those first two. The one who says that, uh, uh, let's start with this one for lemon, water, and ginger. Because they say, if you wake up in the morning, drink some lemon water, it's a, weight loss is not attached to one thing. Okay. Um, and drinking lemon water and ginger mm -hmm. in the, the morning, dawa. the dawa, yes. 
in the morning and unfortunately we heap it up with a lot of honey <laughs> sorry so, so the dawa <laughs> yeah beats yes. the purpose the dawa is a step uh -huh. towards your weight loss uh -huh. but you cannot just wake up and drink dawa more uh, january to December and expect your weight to just disappear. Mm -hmm. You drink dawa, then eat right mm -hmm. and work out. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes so there's a question about uh, working out, which is the first one. Um, I can't remember, but he talked about, yes, there it is. Is working out efficient without following a right diet or changing diet? My belly fat is the same all my years increasing. That's somebody who's a little bit frustrated there, all my years. Now, um, one thing you need to understand. Mm -hmm. I work with work, well, weight gain and, and weight, weight loss. loss. Mm -hmm. And not just that, even diabetes and mm -hmm. hypertension. But the difference between work, weight loss mm -hmm. and weight gain mm -hmm. is the plate. Both clients should work out. OK. Both of them? Yes. OK. So if you work out mm -hmm. and you're on a calorie surplus, which means you're working out and you're eating a lot of food, you will gain weight, mm -hmm. even when you want to lose. So if you want to lose weight, you're not just working out. You work out and eat right. 80% uh -huh. of weight loss happens in the kitchen. Uh -huh. Even the trainers will tell you. I'm sure you've gone to the gym. Yes, I, I know have. Trainer. Hey, you know, only the one with <laughs> your son. In the kitchen. I don't know what <laughs> so, so you So you don't wake up and expect uh -huh. weight loss to just happen because you're working out. Or just because you're eating right. Mm. You, you also have to work out. Mm. So to stay active, it doesn't necessarily mean going to the gym. Mm. Yes. So, OK, we'll talk about that. The other options uh, as well. I guess we'll go to the third one, uh, the third uh, SMS there. Um, let us see. Um, all right. Uh, so he brought it quite easy. No need check. Ruth, who is watching from Eldorado, says, uh, we always talk about weight loss. Some of us have a problem of weight gain. Had to know ni hata to kule aji advice. So how would you advise somebody who uh, Ruth here is saying, since you don't to gain, how what is uh, you talked about calorie surplus. surplus, yes, stuff like that, yeah. Ruth, I, ask, I appreciate your question, but I'm very big on weight gain. Okay. I'm very big on weight mm -hmm. gain. Mm -hmm. uh, one advice I'll tell you is we do small, frequent meals. Okay. Number one, fast to de warm, so that you're not your body is not competing with other things to uh, take. How often should one de warm though? Twice Gender. a year. Twice, twice a year. A year. Twice a year so is this okay. is the one where you take the actual yes. de warming yes. uh, medication. Yes, the de warming medication. Okay. So you do uh, de warming I, fast. I think the combined side. <laughs> I might have to do my fasts in this year. In this year. <laughs> yeah. So and then you take small, frequent meals. Okay. You see, most of my clients that want to gain weight will just wait, take a meal and forget about food. Because for them, appetite is not an issue. Mm. So you have to do small, frequent meals. So that means you could be doing three meals and even three snacks a day. Mm. She said advice, I'll tell you to make peanuts and milk your friend. Mm. Yeah. But she can see me on the, on the side. side. Peanuts yeah. and milk. Yeah. So, so in this case, are they what? So Will the plate look the same for, let's say, and Ruth sort of choose an example, but you don't know, I want for Ruth, and let's say for me, because she wants to gain, and I want to lose. So is our plate looking the same in terms of fists and, mm -hmm. you know? Now, because you don't want to gain unhealthy weight, it will still look the same because that is the diabetic plate, it's a healthy plate. Okay. And when we are doing her meals, we will do what we call diet mod modification. Mm. So for example, if Ruth is going to take OG and you are taking OG, for Ruth we can add a tablespoon of peanut butter. Ah. Yours will not have peanut butter. I wouldn't have cut down. <laughs> so so we, we do diet modification yes. for them. Okay. Um, so for example, if they are doing bread, they will do maybe peanut butter again. And for example, if they are doing something like rice, then now you can top it up with cashew nuts, mm. some raisins. For you, we are doing more of the brown mm -hmm. because it has more fiber. Mm -hmm. We are not saying they are not eating right. They will not wake up and eat just junk. Right. We still want them to eat healthy, but then modify. And then when they are taking their, their snacks, mm -hmm. their snacks would be more of uh, milk that you can't take every day. Mm -hmm. You see, for them, we are telling them, do a glass every day, um, do peanuts, do a, most. I, I can tell you avocado is one of those things that mm -hmm. will help you gain the weight because mm -hmm. It 
has a bit of uh, calories mm -hmm. on the higher side. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah, and here I was thinking, so for somebody who wants to lose weight, uh, I thought they say snacking as a kwakama sujini, ni 10 almonds. I'm a yes, yes, a handful. Yes, yeah. a handful. Mm -hmm. But you see, for Ruth, we are using her <coughs> as an example, is that she could maximize on that. So oh. because... Uh, her calories are very different. We cannot use Ruth and you, but we can use Ruth and another person. Okay. Because when you're calculating calories, mm -hmm. then there is, of course, what we talked about, height, weight, mm -hmm. age, a level of activity. And then if we want to gain weight, we add 500 mm -hmm. calories. Mm -hmm. We want to lose, you minus 500. Mm -hmm. So for her, we will be looking for the loopholes to add the 500 right. calories. Yes. And the 500, uh, again, if you're minus 500, this is what if I burn the 500 in the gym? <laughs> but you see, we're already in, considering that you're working out. Ah, okay. eh? So after, okay. that is when we... So I'll give you a general. An average man is supposed to be consuming an average of 2,200 calories. Average, mm -hmm. okay? That so, is like three meals. So, no, it, it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. So 2,200 calories mm -hmm. is an average man. Mm -hmm. So for ladies, we do uh, 1,800 to 2,000. Mm -hmm. So you see, if we minus... For ladies would be, if we minus five, 500, it could get to 1,300, 1,500. Five, yes. And for guys, the ma minimum would be about 1,700. Ah. So it's a bit different. Okay. Yes. Oh, wow. All right. So let's take a look at the next question. Asante sana, Ibra. Uh, uh, the next one is Opembe. Uh, she says he or she, I'm not sure, sorry. Please help me how to stop bloating by use of nutrition. How to stop bloating. Um, yes. Bloating. So number one, look for the food that is making you bloat. Start eliminating. Most culprits would be wheat, mm -hmm. so that's chapati, eh, mandazi, um, mkate, mm -hmm. then milk. I have found that some adults are get some lactose in intolerance. Okay. You are not born with it, and then you get it. Actually, about 40% of Kenyans are lactose intolerant. Oh. Most don't know. Mm -hmm. So you could try... If you take the lactose-free milk in the market and you feel like you're feeling better, then also move, mm -hmm. don't just sit, eat a lot of vegetables and drink enough water. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I saw uh, a couple of trainers I've seen, uh, lady trainers, uh, a couple of them I've seen over the course of their training, they say that whenever they're on the, they're called the menses or period, yes. that you have yes. experience bloating. There is bloating and actually water retention, water okay, because okay. of hormonal fluctuations. Ah. But that one comes and goes. Okay. So maybe what this one is talking about is a long term that has been happening. So Over they need to, yeah. So they need to look for the culprit <coughs> and also not just sit. Drink a lot of water, eat a lot of vegetables, and maybe mm. I have seen when people change from the processed ugali maybe from the whites to the browns mm. it, it helps it helps them as yes, well yes. yeah we'll talk about that as well because what I don't do processed meat we'll talk about that Lucas Guaro says is there a correlation between nutrition and exercise because we exercise a lot and then later on replenish the loss during the exercise through junk <laughs> Lucas unaena walk out alafu unaputia fried chicken <laughs> yes. So, yes, there's a relationship. 80% is nutrition, 20% is workout. Right. Remember we said the difference between weight loss and weight gain is one, is mm. the plate. Mm. So if you, I don't see the sense of working out so hard with your trainer, who is mm. a tough one, <laughs> then going to, to eat junk. Yes. In as much as you either want to lose or, and you're not just thinking about junk in weight loss, you're mm. thinking about junk in uh, lifestyle diseases. Mm. So if if you told today you have prediabetes or you you have hypertension, or there's just something that is coming up, of course the first thing is eat right. Mm. So do away with the junk. Mm. So there's a big relationship be between nutrition and workout, mm. a big one. Right. You cannot separate the two, mm -hmm. never. And they kind of work hand in hand, but of course. <coughs> Sorry, beg your pardon. Nutrition is more. You should focus more on it. And then, you know, you can do with, like you said, it not necessarily the gym. So I guess do with what? Short walks, runs? So you see, WHO gives you a range of workouts. Okay. So there is, of course, high t intensity like the gym. Then you can do your walk. You can swim. You can cycle. So 
you 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 sit and listen to someone do you work out no but the peop the person is doing 6 to, 6 to 10 kilometers every day mm. so that is already counting as a physical activity mm. the idea is for you to move for your cardiovascular health mm. yes and also activate the yes. blood not to kuwa couch potato yes eh uh, sisi mko tunasema give you sasa and chill <laughs> all right do you have another question and if and oh, you feel free to add the questions on uh, remember it is uh, sms line is 22422 and the hashtag to use is daybreak word baba some of the researchers confuse us and tell us to skip meals wengine now eat kidogo kidogo which is which now this one is a certified nutritionist so kitu anaenda kusema is the law which is which <laughs> so skipping your meals i have not Uh, had a nutritionist say it mm -hmm. unless it's just someone who's wearing the the, the tag yeah, yes the, yes and uh, there are a lot of them yes you eat your meals i i would tell woodbaba to do this mm -hmm. eat when hungry mm -hmm. stop when you're full and then move to the next meal mm -hmm. because then stop again when you're full how yes. do you know you're full because at least you know <laughs> you know <laughs> you know and you know and and, and you know but what you know what what you know what you know that culture of your kenyan mm. mama yako alikufunza kuna kuwa kuna kuwa yes you eat to finish is yes. messing most of us mm. ukisikia umeshiba i mean you have a fridge mm -hmm. or you could cover the food mm -hmm. for the next meal mm -hmm. so th when you get the akili yako imekwambia tu you almost full just stop mm. yes hey. so yo very important uh, speaking about that so what what, what uh, when it comes to skipping meals what is the difference when now you're talking about something like intermittent fasting now i knew that would come up <laughs> yes i'm actually okay with intermittent fasting okay. so that's where you uh, eat stop for some time then start your meal again but i can only allow 16 hours okay. because we are already counting the hours when you are asleep okay yes and then it also um, supports the idea that you eat your meals 3 to 4 hours before bedtime mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so if you had your dinner at 6 pm and you have your breakfast around 10 11 you're ready fasting mm -hmm. so we all fast so i'll support if in just that I cannot do anything more than 16 hours mm -hmm. because then again we also want to be able to get the nutrients that we were talking about in the 8 hours. Mm -hmm. But then I don't understand how you can get them in an hour or 4 hours it's ne next to impossible. Yeah because then that's the thing where uh, the argument is always if you're doing intermittent fasting you're like ah kwa hizi hours na kula na hours na kula what you want. Yes yes. I remember I told you the goal is not losing weight mm. it's being healthy and you i want you to maximize on a nutrient dense diet not a calorie dense mm. so that is what you should have in your mind when you're talking about i'll use fries and chicken mm. you go to that place they never have vegetables and when they do <laughs> It has a lot of uh, creamy salad dressings. Yeah, cold slaw, I yes. guess is the closest they have. It's a lot and then it's so tiny. So But a lot of a lot of mayo. So right. when we are talking about nutrient dense then it's very different to calorie dense mm. yes you want to eat but what are you eating are you balancing then again the way we said mm. making your micros big and your macros big smaller mm. <laughs> yes all right so uh, do you have another question um meanwhile then the, the thing is uh yeah we okay a viewer here they didn't leave their name they said talk about not wanting to gain a lot of weight when pregnant because that's another thing when you're pregnant uh that is the fear number one fear is that i'm going to gain a lot of weight so how do you not do it again but you need the food so again at amtoto ndo anaitisha how do you do it now number one um we all as ladies you don't want to gain a lot of weight when you get pregnant right. but my gynecologist told me one thing pregnancy is not a weight loss program okay so the minute you're pregnant you actually fast stop everything that you are doing confirm it, if it's safe for your kid including work, work out so your trainer will tell you pregnant first visit the doctor let's make sure that because if most people don't know the first trimester is very delicate so there are people who will even be told don't work out for the first trimester in as much as that you are very active move uh, do, just do slow workouts then move to 
active workout in the second trimester. When you don't want to gain a lot of weight, then unfortunately it's not possible because mm. you have to get up, gain about 7 to 15 kgs for an average pregnancy. Mm. Um, some people, if you're doing, uh, uh, if you have twins, it could go up to 20, but I've seen clients going up to 30. Okay. Now, how to, to gain? <coughs> the idea is not how to not gain. The question should be, how can I gain the correct weight during pregnancy? Number one, manage your cravings. Um, don't want, don't crave ice cream, then immediately just drive to the uh, ice cream place. Buy time, uh, push it to tomorrow. Eat a fruit because it could be a sugar craving. Um, if it's fries, for example, why not opt to bake? You can bake your ngwashe or you can just have uh, uh, fries made from home so that you just do one waru instead of just going to buy the entire pack, sit down, eat, and then feel bad. So you can manage that by eating, right? That is number one maximizing on your vegetables then when you have those crazy uh, cravings because most of them is what will now make you gain a lot of weight right. then now you can look for healthier alternatives mm -hmm. but the particular viewer can text me i have a guideline on how to eat mm -hmm. healthy on um, on during pregnancy right. yeah, she can just stretch out because that's the thing i think um, the confusion also comes in, in I, I think you're confused because you don't want to you ask yourself about the food that's right for the baby mm. and stuff like that. So I guess that's where the fear comes. But again, like you like said, you can uh, talk to her. One card or part of your right? One because now you talked about uh, uh, different fad diets, and there's also one that's becoming very popular, which is the keto diet. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and if my doctor is watching, when I say well, in Nambia, ni meenda sana kwa your keto. But it's mostly protein and fats, I think, uh, from what I've seen. So talk about that. How how is that something sustainable, or do you do it kidogo kidogo, or you know, because everybody has been raving about it. There's some channels even on YouTube, three million views, talking about how you see this muscle. This is what I'm talking about when you do keto, and then now guys, I'll try it. Now keto has been there for a long time. Okay. You're putting me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'll tell you this for sure, mm. as a nutritionist, the person who comes to mind when we talk about the ketog di ketogenic diet, that is what it's called, is epileptic patients. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, if you're not that category, when you're doing, this is what they call it, high f fat, high protein. High protein, yes. Then it's not protein from beans. Mm -hmm. So they exclude legumes because of the carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, Willis, I don't know when you last boiled red meat. Boiled? Yes, just boiled. Ile kubola ni kule. Kubola tu alafu yache. Si, tufanye vitu after. You you don't know. Yes, I don't remember. But when you boil, I want everyone to just do this. Boil meat today when you're able to yeah, and let it cool. The amount of fat you see there, up on the top is what you put into your body when you're eating meat every single day. Mm -hmm. Now, protein, animal protein, has what we call saturated fat, okay. which is bad for your heart and your internal organs. Another thing is that it takes 24 to 72 hours to digest. I don't know if you got that Wait. right. So, Kanyama. if you ate meat Monday, lunchtime, Monday dinner, Monday lunch, uh, Tuesday lunchtime, you already causing una cause traffic kwa mm. so that's why we break it with legumes so that on the day when you're not taking animal protein you're getting protein from uh, plant protein which comes with a lot of fiber and what you're doing is that you're balancing out your body mm. so you could i get people who feel sluggish and tired from eating meat so what are you doing una chokisha mwili get a balance. So for me, keto, I have never advised a client to do keto and I will never mm -hmm. unless it's an epileptic client mm -hmm. and because of the sustainability. Sorry to say this, keto is very expensive. Yes. Yeah. It's very expensive mm -hmm. and there's a reason why your doctor also told you to stop. 
Yeah. Yeah. Let me not get to the details. Yes. You need doctor patient privilege. <laughs> so speaking about uh, that, you I think Kenya wengi sasa maybe ata lugona fanya kazi hivi wakaskia. Don't eat meat every day. Hmm? <laughs> so, so what is it so can you like say if it is white meat red meat or just so long as it's white or red don't eat it every day now <coughs> there's something i call um frequency variety it's a long i call it fat va it's a okay. common for nutritionists mm -hmm. so when you're talking about frequency and variety frequency and variety dictates that you're eating foods different foods mm -hmm because we list every food has its nutrients, special nutrient, mm -hmm. okay? We have seven days in a week. I'll not touch Sunday. Mm -hmm. That one I'll allow you to do every day, <laughs> whatever you want. Yes. So we are left with six days. Why not balance the three, three? So you can do three meat and three plant protein. And you're still okay. Plant protein would be beans. Beans, uh, leg kamande, ah. chickpeas, mm -hmm. dal. There's a lot of... So you can do Monday, meet, uh -huh. Tuesday. You, you go balancing it out. So you're not missing out, yet you also enjoy. Some people will actually tell you, hey, then yeah, I didn't know chickpeas is this nice. Mm. I didn't know kamande is this nice. And you just automatically... Lentils, no. Lentils is kamande. Kamande, yeah, okay. Kamande, yes. <laughs> okay, kamande on Tuesday. <laughs> All right. Okay, so you can variety and balance it out yes. as well. Yes. Um, All right, but so... Which one is, I don't use the word safer. So if red meat has saturated, is it all meats like ch fish and uh, chicken? Uh, oh, okay. So red meat is, is the one that is higher in saturated okay. fat. Okay. And that doesn't mean we don't eat it. It's okay. a very good source of zinc. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. So what we are saying is reduce it. We list. Mm -hmm. We say it three times. So you can do three times. So you can do meat, red meat. Then you can do, so you can do red meat. I'm talking about uh, beef. Posey pork, because mm. I know people say pork is red meat, mm. eh? is white meat. Mm. It's not. <laughs> then, of course, there you can use your liver. Right. And one thing that is very common, people think matumbo <coughs> does not have nutrition value. It has. Oh yeah, by yeah. then it has. matumbo. No, it has. Econile. It has, and it has things <laughs> like zinc, choline that are very good to the body. Oh, wow. Then the other day you can move to chicken and fish and, liver. and rabbit. Oh, liver and yeah, kidney. Kidney. So you, we we don't. Did you say rabbit? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. To cool a sunguch, to All right. Well, I know there are so many other questions, but I see time is uh, coming towards uh, an end there. So for the rest of y'all and those maswalis, uh, we're going to direct you to where you can find uh, uh, Denya. Where can they uh, get in touch with you? So I'm big on Instagram. Mm -hmm. It's <coughs> I've been able to handle that. I. I'm not big on, on Facebook. So my page on Instagram is Nutrition by Ndenya. Mm -hmm. um, then they can call me on 0720 824 799. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Just say the number again. No. 0720 824 799. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. And so you can get in touch with Ndenya uh, on those platforms. You can get in touch with Ndenya on those platforms. And but we'd like to say thank you so much for coming through. Thank you. Uh, we'll try you. some of the questions up or what what Oliza Wakipote and Jia to our direct Kwako and to to one the kuishi I guess the takeaway is um, you know you have to be a little bit not a little bit you have to be deliberate about it, about it. and uh, because if you want to and make it a lifestyle uh, believe me sitting from somebody who I've tried everything everything. Everything. I've tried 13 day metabolic, I've tried juicing, I've tried. <laughs> which is now the sustainable one. Yes. Which I think is the, the right way mm. to do it. Having tried all of that, I have an experience in trying. <laughs> so now it is important for you to, I guess, sustainability is the way to go. So, to the JDB, but thank you so much for watching the show and thank you so much for your questions and apologies if we didn't ask uh, your questions just a matter of time, but you can find out, like she, like she said, nutrition by the Peace and love. To kutana badai, usiende bali sana. Shows in endelea. Alafu badai, ikifika around 11 or 10 hivi. Saba na Citizen, itakuwa hapa hivi. Keep on watching Citizen TV. Successful people look like you and the great Manchester United. Peace and love. <laughs>